is such a demanding force. It is such an impulse which makes us go mad. Anger raises within us the most powerful and most dangerous vibrations which can actually carry you far away from common sense and better knowledge. Anger can transform you, your gentle behavior, into a vicious planning agent of misery for others. Anger produces vengeance. Vengeance, hate. It makes you somebody so far away from the goal of life that your return cannot even be considered when it will be. Anger is your primal deterrent from spirituality. It makes you a slave. When you are angry, even inside of yourself, you, you are being told by your inner voice, don't do this, you do it anyway. This is how anger is powerful and potent. Sometimes anger appears in the form of the uncontrolled tongue. That's more common. You start insulting people. You say something which you know will hurt them. If you want to hurt somebody, you just say one bad word about his mother. And then everybody's ego goes on a wild cycle. Your mother, blah, blah, blah. Ooh. Now the problem is on. Hmm? You insulted my mother. I really can only do one thing with you to bless you, and that is kill you. <laughs> because you denied and you derived. You deride it all. You blasphemed the most sacred person of my life. Plus, you indicated by your insult that her offspring was a kind of a failure. <laughs> now I will show you what kind of a great warrior was born when she gave birth to me. Take it! <laughs> so, it's really a powerful force, anger. And you, I mean, some people get angry just because you spit on the flag of their country, you know? I mean, you mean, you mean you're, you're born in that silly, stupid stretch of land which they call... Huh? Oh, oh, he insulted my country. He insulted my, my, my sacred earth. He, he, he insulted that little spot of earth where this holy soul of myself to burst. No, I cannot tolerate it. I have to wipe him off the surface of the world. That will be the best solution for this absolute insolent uh, behavior. So in this way, anger really drives people mad. And that's just verbally. This is just when the, when the tongue gets out of control. <clears throat> and some people are very good in the mood of anger. They're twisting their faces and they're starting. <laughs> I will say something which will hurt you, but down there in the root of your ego. Huh? And then he's going to say something. Like telling, like telling an artist that his picture is ugly. <laughs> Why was I born to meet such a terrible critique? <laughs> How he dares to deride my creation. I will do 
who is if I've never seen him. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I think you really wasted a lot of color here. And you shouldn't be painting at all. You should be washing pots. That would be better for you. <laughs> Not possible. I cannot restrain myself any further. Uh, such behavior is not not possible. So in this way, anger just drives you mad. If you catch somebody's eager, you know, you can twist them around. Hmm? Or, or you speak to parents about the education of their children. Hmm, that's another favorable topic. If you want to get people upset, you say, I think your child is a, is a spoiled brat. <laughs> No. No. <coughs> Did you criticize my my child? Did you dare to question the values of my education? You think you're better than me? Ah. So anger it arises in certain ways at certain moments. Have we even seen it amongst transcendentalists? Even they have ways sometimes how anger arises by silliness, often wrong information, misunderstandings and so on. And sometimes just because of some nasty person with nasty character. You know, it's the anger is a very big a very big challenge. What to speak when you get the physical aggression? No. A drop of blood was spilled from somebody and you got his whole mob of people who know him coming running. Who is the guy who spilled the blood of my beloved? You are all now we make you to pulp. You know, it's when the anger comes, you know, oh my god, this is such a dangerous thing. In Italy and, and Spain, you know, one person was killed in a family, then they killed one of the other family, and then they killed one. And these things go on like for generations and generations. Blood feuds, they are called. So, and oh, somebody was hurt. Somebody of our country was, was given trouble. So we will wipe you off the face of the earth. We send in the marines. And then you will see what you get for messing with us. <laughs> so, 